everyone, my name is Glory Lewis, and today I'm going to be presenting to you the history of the Yapai Apache people. Can everybody see this PowerPoint slide okay? Yes. 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 Alright. So today I'm going to be discussing three main topics of the Yapai Apache people. The first one is going to be uh, who are the Yapai Apache people, and I'm going to go over um, their culture and their language dialect. Also, I'm going to be covering uh, the hardships and about the Yapai Apache people and when they were forced to be removed from their homeland. Who are the Yapai? So the Yapai people believe that they came from the Montezuma well and they believe that from the bottom of the well their people came up and they lived within the well and they hunted also outside to provide food for their families and one day there was a great flood and one lady she uh, put herself in a hollow log and the log landed on Boynton Canyon on the edge of Boynton Canyon and she was impregnated by a supernatural being and from there on their people continued to uh, continue to grow. Who are the Apache? So, the Apache people here in the Verde Valley are known as the Desa'e, Des Des and they are known to be fierce fighters and warriors, and they also um, lived east of the Verde River, which they were, also, they were neighbors of the Yaupai people, and um, they were known to be uh, great, um, great hunters and uh, to provide for their family. And the culture of the Yaupai Apache. So the culture, um, the Yaupai, both Yaupai and the Apache were known to be great basket weavers. Uh, the, historically, they, um, the Yaupai people, people um, performed a ceremonial dance known as the mountain um, the mountain spirit dance, and which is today known as the uh, as crown dancers, and um, and over the years the Yaupai Apache people or the Yaupai people actually adopted that uh, tradition, and so mainly the Apache are known to practice that today. And um, the Yaupai people they sing um, songs known as bird songs. They use gourds to sing these songs, and the woman. They dance in their regalia to the songs while the, while the men uh, sing. The Apaches, when they sing their songs, they um, actually tell a story with each song that they, that they uh, sing to the people listening. Uh, and the, there is a, a traditional ceremony also when a woman or a young girl becomes a woman of age, she, the Apache have a a uh, ceremony for her, it's called the, the Sunrise Dance. And today, the, both the Alpine and Apache people, they celebrate that together, but this is actually, this tradition, it comes from the roots of the yeah, Apache people. All right, so the Yaupai and Apache language. So the Yaupai Apache language dialect also comes, uh, specifically comes from the Yumeng language. The Yumeng means of or relating to the language of the Yuma people. The uh, Apache uh, language comes from the Athapaskan, and that means it's a group of American language languages. This is the uh, Ath Athapaskan, sorry, is um, known to be the most widely used uh, language dialect of the native people. Okay, Exodus Day. So on February 27th of 1875, the Yavapai Apache people were forced uh, to be removed from their homeland. Um, they were forced to a reservation in, on, to, in, on St. Carlos, on the St. Carlos Reservation, they call it today. And um, during that travel, the Yavapai and Apache people, they um, had to, instead of taking the wagon trails, the um, U.S. 
cavalry army. They took them through rough terrain, which was like through the Verde River and up mountains. And the weather during that time, it was winter, so there was a lot of snow. There was the, it was really hard for them to, for anybody to be out, you know, walking during that time and, and to be walking such a long distance. They had the elderly walking, they had the young children, they had pregnant women walking there, and it was very hard for them. And they actually had um, approximately 1,500 Yalpine Apache, and by the time they um, were allowed to come back, which was 25 years later, they were allowed to come back to the homeland, and only about 200 of the Yalpai Apache people came back to the homeland. When they came back here, a lot of the land was taken by farmers and um, gold, gold mines, or gold miners up from uh, the Jerome gold or mine when they were the gold, the, excuse me. When the miners were up there taking the gold, they settled in different parts around here. And so the Yalpai Apache people had to um, settle in different parts of the Liberty Valley. And in the year of uh, 1934, the nation became one, or the Yalpai Apache people became one nation and were recognized as a sovereign nation, or sovereign people. The Yalpai Apache people today, so the Yalpai Apache people today, um, together they survived the hardships that they went through in the past through the Exodus Day. Um, which is known as the Exodus Day and the Trail of Tears when they went to San Carlos. And um, they, um, they remained, uh, or they were able to keep a part of their culture, a big part of their culture, and, um, which was their, their practices and their tradition and their language, in which in history they were forced to, a lot of Native Americans were forced to um, forget you know, their true identity and to learn the English or European um, lifestyle and language. Today, the um, so every year on February 27th, the um, Yalpai Apache Nation people they celebrate the um, the well the, in memory and also in celebration they um, they celebrate which which is called Exodus Day, the the day that the Yalpai Apache people were forced to leave this land and the day that they came back. And does anybody have any questions? I have a question. Yes? Um, do you or your family participate in um, this exodus? Yes. Yes, actually we do. Every year, um, we early in the morning, we, we get up and we go to, um, which is located right now, um, a part of the reservation land um, where the culture center is. They have... Um, grounds there, like sacred grounds, where they, they, the runners that come from St. Carlos or Payson, they meet the tribal people there, and they sing the traditional songs and remember and pray also, and remember their ancestors. Any more questions? I have a question. Yes. Do they offer language or any kind of other cultural activities for the tribal members? Yes, they do. Um, actually, today they were over um, them being successful and building um, uh, good enterprises that brought in financial income. They were able to build a culture center, and at the culture center, they have um, Yalpai and Apache classes for the the older people and the younger generation. All right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for listening to my presentation.